Alright, so today we got my boy J-Matt and his GX we're gonna check out today. Uh, J-Matt right there. Hey, what's up guys? What's cracking, bro? What's going so this on? is the GX right here, what's huh? Going on? So uh, tell us a little more about your truck, bro. Um, let's start off with the suspension, maybe. Suspension, so I'm running King suspension, two and a half coilovers in the front with Dirt King upper control arms. And I am running the rears also, two and a half shocks with reservoirs. Nice, nice. Along with Icon Springs in the rear. And I'm running um, KDSS spacers in the rear and front along with the icon uh, adjustable sway bar and the iron key sway bar mount nice so running dr kdss is a shut off electronic module for my okay and it's been really good to me so uh for those that don't know like what is the uh, kdss spacer do so it pretty much balances out when you lift your GX, uh -huh. and when you lift your GX, sometimes you get an angle that you don't want, and like a lean or something. There's like a lean, right? Gotcha. There's a lean, so that the spacers correct it. Uh huh. And then also with the Doctor KDSS module, which I'm showing you right here, um, it's just like a OEM switch that turns on and off. It's pretty much like oh, turning okay. on and off your sway bar, right? Right. Having a more comfortable ride and better droop when you approach different angles on a trail. Okay, there you go. And it's been really good. So I, I'm definitely stoked to try it out. Okay, as sweet. As we can, yeah. In the front, I have a one-off custom carbon fiber OEM style hood. Nice. I have hand designs lights. I have front logics. Brackets are provided by Ohana Rig Supply. Ohana Rig Supply, nice. I think uh, Tommy had these similar ones uh, on his GX. Sweet. Running RSG skid plates in the front to rear, along with the sliders. RSG flat sliders. RSG flat sliders, there it is. And then from the front, you can also see the Midland, the MXT500 antenna. It's a stealth antenna. Nice. A little stubby attached. antenna, huh? Yeah, that just attaches there and the output is amazing. Okay. Right on. Sweet. Yep. And then it's all the lights are wrapped by Houdini wraps here in Las Vegas. Okay. And you still see some stickers I had from Seymour for the Rays. That's right, because you're at the Rays booth with the four I was with the Rays back in industry. So nice. Right on. And then I'll go to the wheels. These are the 18 inch T. 37 uh, racing rays, aggressive wheels. Very nice. They are 18 by 9 with a zero offset and I have spacers on the ground. I'm running a 35 inch mud terrain Toyo tire. I have stop tech pads and drill and slotted rotors. Right on. Sick. And then if we just keep going around on the exterior, I'm running a dirt scum, dirt scum plate Dude. along with a side exit exhaust Damn, installed by 365 sick. Performance out in SoCal. And I'm also running a carbon exhaust. Wow. Carbon makes that good rumble, so. Yeah, do. Provided that. You think we can hear it real quick? Yeah, for sure. I'm sure they want to hear this. Let's check it out. Let's get some revs. Yeah, that's crazy. Muscle cars, baby. <laughs> Let's start from here. This is the version 2 Nash Fab Co Ladder 
This was designed right before SEMA, and shout out to James Nash. He's able to design this ladder to go with Sick. the designs of these newer roof racks that are coming out, you know? Uh huh. So it has that still, you know, strong quality along with the flow design to, the, to my JW roof rack. Nice, nice. He also custom made these mounting plates for my power tank. AKA nitrous tank. <laughs> I love it. That's the old school NAS, huh? Yeah, it, that you know powers you up on your tires the fastest. Nice. Right? Yep. And along with the bottom tank with my rotor packs. My rotor packs, if you notice, they have the AI13 billet nozzles. And those really come in handy. They're the fastest flow. I don't think there's anyone else in the market that has these nozzles. I don't think I've even seen these before. Yeah, they're really, really nice. That's sick. They just flip out and you can just pour your gas right away. Nice. And then from the rear, we have the Dirt Cub Trail Swing Out. My version is on the left hand. Most people have it on the right side. Uh -huh. The reason why they had it on the left hand is because GX, GX swings out left. So I'll just demonstrate how to open it. It's sure. really simple. Just like that. Just like that. Along with the front runner table. Ready. Right. Are we ready, boys? Let's go. Of course, you got the pure license plate. Yes, sir. And the graphics lab with my roll calls. And this right here, this is new. This is from 4122 Incorporated. They were featured in Motor Trend Magazine. Uh huh. They sent me this really cool hitch slider. I really like the design just because the approach angle on the rear when you're coming up, even if you have like a regular D-ring, it's going to scrape. But with this, you notice the angle. Right, right. And it saves my trail swing and the whole car. Nice. And then, inside, excuse the mess. Now you're good, man. Victory uh, panels. Victory panels. Nothing too crazy. Just uh, some with gear the handcuffs and some handcuffs, you know, if <laughs> naughty, you know. Or if you're feeling naughty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right if on. you notice, if you look up, I have Baja lights on my rear chase lights and rear camp lights. Those are S2s. Nice. And then nice. a lot of people don't notice, I do have a high lift back here behind the rear awning. A lot, a lot of people can't see that. That's pretty sneaky. Yeah. And yeah, it just mounts here with my JW roof rack. JW made these custom um, brackets for them, nice. which is pretty cool. Also, Mighty Kills, Marvin, made these Toyo Tires straps, along with the Overland straps, all handmade. Yo, shout out Marvin. Yeah, looks really, really good. Cool. All right. Sick, man. So, What else we got? Up, right? Yeah, we going up, baby. Going up. So, JW roof rack, along with a bunch of accessories. So these are the JW uh, XL side panels. Uh -huh. I mounted a Rotopax water container. This is, a lot of people ask questions on this. What, what, where do you get this? So this is the Joe's Spout Kit. Joe's original Spout Kit. Uh -huh. Yeah, nice. looks very, works very well with this. This is the, uh, H3R performance extinguisher. I have two extinguishers, one for outside on real fires and then one for the inside for engine, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, I have agency six handles along the side. I have a water port. I also have this kick ass. They sent me this shower tent awning. Nice. It's also can be used for a bathroom awning. Mm -hmm. I have, if you look up front here, you can probably get a better angle here. I have the Action Tracks boards with the metal teeth. We use this agency six handle to check it out. Pack storage in here. I keep my uh, more flat hoses, uh -huh. and then I have the rear Rome awning, four foot awning, and then I have the rear. I'm sorry, the side Rome six foot awning, so I can just have options when we're out. Sick. Yeah. Fully covered. 
fully covered. And nice. then a lot of people ask, you know, what? why do you have these? Like, what, what's in it? Well, I, I had an idea, like, you know, during windy times, um, I thought, I told Marvin, hey, you know, let's make some rack tie-down straps. So basically all it is is it just goes between your door and when in those windy times, the rack is not going everywhere. And it's just secured just for those. Okay just for those crazy weather moments gotcha so, for the yeah. windy days yeah so right those on. are probably you know that's most cool. of it outside yeah it looks good yeah. man is there anything inside you want to show yeah, us yeah let's, show, let's go outside so um again my jx is a 2021 2021 uh, this one is optioned with the captain seats so um it's a true four-seater it's the f sport interior I have the Ohana Rig Supply Captain Panel. That's this one up here? Yeah. Nice. Up there. And then we have the custom Pure 4x4 Infinity Mirror. Yo. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. And then also if you look uh, next to my steering wheel right here, I have the Midland MXT 500. That one just came out. That's the new new, huh? That's the new new. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, how's that working out for you? It's great. The frequency is very clear, especially when you have a group of people on the same radio. It, it works great. Nice. What's yeah. this down here? Oh, that's my uh, that's my little uh, PA system. Let's oh, see okay. If I can have it to work. You know. There nice. you go. <laughs> five o oh, five o. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And all of my electronics are installed by Chris from Pure and CTC. CTC shout out CTC, yeah. baby. What's up, we Chris? Still got a lot more lights to put on. Yeah. There's, there's a couple more things that we're doing to this thing. Nice. And that's that's pretty much a good introduction to the yeah. truck itself. Great introduction. Um, so what about uh, what your favorite parts are on this? Like what favorite do you parts? I will start with probably the tires. Yeah. The tires, hands down, probably one of the best mud terrains in the market. Yeah. Just for the durability, longevity, and the style, and just how they, they're just so rugged. Rugged, and the quality is amazing. And then, of course, the wheels. The wheels, you know, I, 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 like, I come from like a, like a racing style background, and I right. wanted to give that influence to the GX. But, I started building this thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then another favorite mod would probably be, of course, the suspension and the lights, the Baja lights. Oh, I know. I wish it was a little darker so we can get the lights to, to a little demo, but. A lot, yeah, the lights along with my rack because JW made that custom front fairing. If you notice, there's a cutout. It's not available yet, but soon it will be. So, okay. Sick, yeah. right on. So Josh and Brian, you know, put that all together before we did all these crazy events. Shout out Josh and Brian. Yeah, they JW. Did a really good job. Oh, I also forgot to mention my uh, my window tint by Tint Lab. It's a ceramic. Uh, I'm not too sure of like the the actual like special name for it, but if you notice, like you could tell from my front. Oh, your front's um. is tinted. It's all, what what percentage is this? I think it's fifty. Oh it's damn, that's pretty dark. Uh, it's, uh, you know, since we live in Vegas, it's good to just have it, just so the heat can reduce when you get in the car. Yeah, and it's a huge difference, and that's probably one of my favorite mods. Almost a mandatory of thing. My hood. People think this is wrapped. You guys, this is not wrapped. I, uh, you know, through through social media, people are like, oh, it's it's wrapped. I don't even know. It's real. It's real. <laughs> no, I can. Yeah, it looks real as hell. It's real. Again, you know, it's just that style that I want. Definitely different. No one else has this, you know. Does anybody else have that? No. no. Nobody else has that. Sick, man. I love it. Yeah. Cool. Um, what about um, near future? What would you change or what's coming up? Or so Can I you have, tell us? Yeah, <laughs> I have, as far as the outside, probably going to wrap it. We're okay. going to wrap it. I have something going on with that. Okay. And also, we're going to have a special project with these wheels. Okay. I really want to get them beadlocked because they're my favorite wheels. I wouldn't change them at all. Yeah. There's something I I really want to get done. And also probably a big brake kit for the front caliper. Okay. We're going to go with probably a true 
big caliper. Mm -hmm. And then after that, who knows? You know, maybe we might supercharge that. <laughs> and just go crazy. Go crazier, huh? Yeah. Sheesh. All and right. I also have like, I have a special announcement with um, off off grid campers. We're uh -huh. gonna do a matching trailer. Oh, okay. A matching trailer with the same wheels. Okay, you heard it here first. Yeah. Matching trailer. Go places. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That and also, let me think of another thing. I'm also teaming up with Lexus USA. We're going to do some cool overland features for the community that we've already established. Okay. As, as is, you know, there's such a the GX is such a growing uh, platform. Yeah. And you know, shout out to everyone that owns a GX. Yeah. You know, everyone in the community really made this happen. And I'm glad to just be a part of everyone and trying to help out everyone. Absolutely, man. And I feel like, you know, we've had we've laid down a good foundation in off-roading and look at us now. Yes, sir. You know, now we can keep up with all these forerunners, these all these other tundras, yeah. all the Jeeps, and it just keeps going from here. So GX does have a great community, it man. Does, it does you know, spread the love, community. not the hate. <laughs> and, you spread know, knowledge. Shout out to all the guys that have helped me out with this thing and all the brands and companies that have given me this opportunity to use this as a blank canvas for their product. Absolutely. It's been an amazing ride, and we're just going to rise, keep rising. Keep going from there, huh? Keep going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure, man. Right on, brother. Well, yeah. thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate your uh, insight you. on, on your beautiful whip. So uh, we'll see you on the trails tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow we're going to send them. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yay!